Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to Massage Therapy Marketing Business Tips. Okay, today I want to talk about a concept that I have in a couple of my courses, but I've had a lot of people uh, contact me about this. It's called the revolving door, and I've, I've termed it the revolving door. What it means is clients come in one door and out the next. Maybe you've given them, well, not maybe, you've given them one treatment, maybe two, but no more than that. So what happens is, just comes in one door, out the other. There's no ability to build a therapeutic relationship. There's no ability for those people to refer people to you. They can't send friends, colleagues, uh, kids, anybody. And what happens to your practice is, it starts to die. And that's awful. And you say to yourself, God, Mark, but I, I, I love what I do. I, I think I do it well. People say they like my treatments. All of that is absolutely true. But if the facts are clearly staring you in the face and you've got more than 50% of your patients or clients that aren't rebooking, you've got a problem and you need to change it. And I call it the revolving door. What you do is understand your numbers. So pull up all your clients for the last two months. How often did they come in? Was it once? Was it twice? Was it three times? Figure out on average, so what I do every year, every year I sit down and I run a 12 month um, evaluation of practices and I look at it and say, how often did your average client come in? If it's like below three, watch out. You've got huge problems. If it's above three, awesome. Three to six, I think that's fantastic. Above six, really good. But if you are unable to keep a therapeutic relationship with a client, it shows in your numbers. And here's the thing, you can't ignore it. If you ignore it and you work by yourself, it becomes too expensive to attract new people. If you ignore it and work for a big clinic, they're going to say, hey, you know what? You're too expensive as a therapist. I can't keep feeding you new clients. And I've talked about this in other videos. I look at it about $50 a new client when it comes from the internet. So it's un completely unsustainable. So please, please, please make sure to evaluate your practice. Now, there are tips that you can do to completely turn this around. I'll give you the number one thing for 90% of all problems. It's because you never developed a treatment plan as a massage therapist for the client. So all they've done is book an appointment and they go, yeah, good treatment, but do I want to invest my time and money in this therapist? If you don't develop a treatment plan, they'll just say no. And they might see you maybe once every four months on their terms. What you want to do is set your terms as a professional and let them know that, hey, this is what's wrong. This is how many treatments it takes to get better. This is how I'm going to do it. And you give them a step by step process. When you nail that process, you will see that, whoa, people love coming back to you. People want to refer their friends. People bring their kids and their colleagues, their partner, whoever. They'll talk about you. That's what's important. So please do not get, do not get caught up in the revolving door. If you love these videos, please subscribe to them. Uh, click the bell so you get the notifications that we're putting out new ones. I put them out twice a week and uh, I love doing it. I love helping you guys out. So please subscribe to it. If you need any questions, comment below, send me a personal message, go on to markbents.com. Love to hear from you. Until then, get out there, take action. I'll see you in the next video.